Okay. Hello, dear friends. Good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. I am so happy to be in my backyard and uh, in front of my in front of my eyes, beautiful flower, and uh, my husband's green thing. No, the green thumb. <laughs> <laughs> the tomatoes and cucumbers and um, <coughs> recently these couple of months I started talking about Skillshare and you have seen I posted classes of uh, lemon curd class on Skillshare and uh, Chinese painting class on Skillshare and Chinese calligraphy class and watercolor class and uh, this uh, Chinese writing class with this particular paper, learning Chinese through writing, learning Chinese through Chinese historical cultural phrases with the right uh, Chinese writing paper. All these, I put my classes on Skillshare. And uh, after so long time, eventually, I am going to tell you a good news. You may say it's a good news or not, but for me, it is a good news. I got sponsorship by Skillshare, and this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Okay, so now let's take a look what Skillshare really is. So this is the front page. Uh, through my signing. If you are new to Skillshare, you come to a page similar to this. And uh, this is the Skillshare uh, website. You can choose any class because I have already taken some classes. I have a, a premium membership so I can choose. I, I, I have already started some classes so join, uh, watch three lessons. They will tell you what you need to continue to do. For example, I was listening to this class and uh, it's about running business on Ichi. And this gentleman, he talks in a very So, for example, this one, you can hear he talks very soft, very, very um, relatively monotone voice. So it's very um, particular for my kind of, uh, of people. I like something talk slow, talk nice and not shocking. So this is a partic particularly good, not only because it's content, but also because the way you can choose the instructor. Some has good content, but the voice or the manner or the, the class plan is not good. You can always choose someone else. I can fall asleep with this kind of voice and, uh, and there is no advertisement. So at the beginning, at the end, in the middle, there will be no shocking sound. So for example, this one. And another thing recently, what I am learning, you can see I am choosing in this uh, uh, search. Search for what you search for classes. So here I will search for Procreate. I want to learn about Procreate. It's uh, an iPad. Uh, it's a, a painting software. So you see when I search for Procreate, here, here are all the classes. I can choose the beginner level and it shrinks down or I can choose intermediate, both beginner and intermediate, or I can choose advanced level. And then you can choose how long you want the class. See, I want the class shorter than 15 minutes, or I want my class longer than 60 minutes. I want to dive in it big time. So, I can choose all these classes, deselect all my condition, it comes out thousands, 
thousands, thousands, thousands, thousands of classes. And you can choose which whichever one you feel comfortable through their presentation. They are all so beautifully presented. And also, if you learn Chinese, how about this? Chinese, and I want to learn Chinese writing. See, we go here. I want to learn Chinese writing, W R I T I N G, and the writing phrases. How about that? Oh my goodness, I found two most beautiful, wonderful class by Hai Ying Yang. I know she is a wonderful teacher. So you can. <laughs> There are some shameless people. This is myself. So, uh, so you can come to the class. This is the real class. Okay, you can jump through class. The introduction. Okay, so here is that anything you want to learn, you, you need to learn, you can come to here. Painting, procreate, watercolor. Uh, watercolor, I think I can also learn watercolor. Uh, meditation. And leaf design. Leaf design. Let's see if we can find something. Look at it. We do find watercolor meditation. And also we find Yang Hai Ying's class. <laughs> you can always find something there. Anyway, <clears throat> so the first 1,000 person who sign up can get through the link. And uh, the first link, you can get... Uh, okay. I will put this okay, sound so, down. This so you can make it blow up to full screen. So you can uh, get subscribe from my link, and the first one thousand will get a f will get a free trial of uh, premium so you can learn a lot of things see a lot of things and oh look at it i need to do some manicure i think <laughs> okay thank you very very much <laughs> okay i have uh, fulfilled my obligation to make 45 to 1 minute about Skillshare advertisement, now I am going to talk about my own classes. So <clears throat> I started since my life has kind of a stuck because a lot of responsibility and uh, I start to feel that uh, um, that mm, what I was not treated what I deserve or it may be I am too selfish, maybe or something. I just feel that uh, um, not feeling right. So uh, the other day, as I was uh, I was driving or something, there pop up uh, people doing different kind of classes, and there comes a Skillshare, and then I searched different kind of classes. So I was thinking maybe I can post my classes on Skillshare. And uh, I started to do it overnight. I have done classes for 13 years on YouTube. And my very first class is a Chinese painting, not even a class. My very first video of, uh, of uh, uh, very first video was public video was a Chinese painting. So I was thinking I will start from something I already know. So I made my first class overnight. I search other people's Skillshare class, how they manage a class, how they make it uh, 
good at the very beginning. I was very stressed, stressed out. I need to make an introduction. So I was sitting actually in the same dress. Yes, <laughs> exactly the same. So I was doing an introduction. The first you should do this, your gesture, your po uh, posture, gesture, position, how you hold your brush, and the history of Chinese uh, uh, calligraphy. And um, within one week, I posted my first class. So that was a Thursday. That was a Tuesday, something like it. And now I become a scheduled every Thursday start to post class. And uh, there was no news. I made uh, people know it by through, uh, through making a YouTube kind of announcement. But uh, <laughs> nobody noticed it. Eventually, there is one sign up, there is two sign up, there are some sign ups start to bump in. And, uh, and uh, I have people sign up, not only sign up, and also making, leaving comments and posting the, their works. It's so encouraging. And uh, it's, it's a turning point. So I started to think about, uh, uh, think about putting my experience, my 20, oh my gosh, 30 years of teaching experience on Skillshare and uh, putting my, my, to share myself. I always think if, if we can contribute to, to the world, it's better to do something, to do something good. And uh, the story becomes when I first arrived in America and uh, I, I, I came as a, a wife, <laughs> so I do not have working visa. And eventually you get working visa, you get green card and all this process. But at that stage, I do not yet have a, a working visa. Always legal, but it's just a, a different stage. I can walk, uh, I cannot work. No, not I cannot work. I cannot earn money. I cannot take away the opportunity of uh, other people, of American, of local people, of residents walking right. What is going on here? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can keep on doing it. It seems there are two machines. There is a tree cutting machine that uh, blowing the leaf and, uh, and uh, grinding the leaves. And there must be another cement machine. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is such his life. Okay, so I started to do my classes um, uh, when I first arrived in America. And uh, I can do volunteer because uh, doing volunteer, I am not taking away the opportunity for other people to make money. I am not uh, taking away the chance of, uh, of a salary. And uh, I just contribute my, um, my ability. I can do study, I can do uh, volunteer. If you have been through immigration, you know this and just cannot make salary. So I volunteered to a library. I was thinking maybe I can volunteer in a library so that I can occupy my time. And um, so I, I, I bought a bicycle. There will be another story to tell you about the bicycle. Such a fascinating, such a story anyway. And uh, I walked in San Jose. Uh, San Jose Library. So I applied. I want to be a volunteer. And, um, and uh, I was thinking, if I go to volunteer, I can do uh, sorting the books. But uh, 
I have taught Chinese calligraphy in Paris when I lived in Paris. I came from Paris to America, to uh, California. So I was thinking maybe I can start to teach uh, calligraphy. So I offered to do a calligraphy class as a volunteer job. So uh, library start to think about it. Eventually, this class does not really make into, but the idea and the initiation, what I have made effort of, I, I, I win an award for uh, volunteer appreciation. It's such, an uh, it's such an encouraging experience. And then I started to have my work permit. I can start to work. And the very first thing, I, <coughs> uh, I get myself prepared. I went to community college. And uh, I went to Sunnyvale Community College. And they have uh, Adobe class, Illustrator class. I just want to get, uh, uh, get to know technology. That was before my baby. And uh, oh my goodness, 20 years ago. <gasps> so I signed up for class and uh, went there for classes. And one of the teachers said, uh, um, anybody can be a teacher. I became a teacher because I applied to it and everyone can become a teacher and he was working for the school, he was a school teacher and he started to inspire me and I got inspired so I was thinking uh, can I think about teaching Chinese calligraphy, teaching Chinese painting or something? And then he said, you should try it. And then I start to try. I tried from Mountain View, my city, at that time my city, uh, to teach an adult class, uh, after school evening class. And uh, they talked to me and I got approved. And starting from there, I teach here and there. And the next thing, once I got Mountain View approved, I contact every within the vicinity of a 30 minutes drive. Every community college, I contact them, make my class proposal. Redwood, uh, Palo Alto, Sunnyvale, um, and uh, Mountain View, Los Altos. And actually, eventually, and Cupertino, and the De Anza College, and Foothill College. I didn't think I've been to Foothill College to teach, but De Anza College. But anyway, I got all approved, so I started to teach there. And uh, I had Chinese painting class, so from then, I start to, to really pay attention the position, the posture, the way to express, to speak. At that time, my sp <coughs> sorry, <coughs> my, my English is even more broken than now and uh, was even more broken than now. But uh, I start to uh, offer my class and, uh, and start to get it going. And then after a Chinese painting class, I start to do a ceramic painting class. And then I, I took a silk painting class and I have done enough silk, not enough. I have done a lot of silk painting. I thought maybe I should offer a silk painting class. Then I offered a silk painting class and it also was a good run. So I started to teach and put my silk painting in local library, local library, local gallery, color shop, a coffee shop and things and get started from nothing, from nowhere. And uh, just uh, uh, yesterday I saw a video, one friend who used to have a job for 10 years and he, she planned to travel around the world and then um, just at that time, 
pandemic came and she could not go anywhere, she could not travel, she has lost the job and eventually now she found the job and doing very long hour and uh, there's no time to, to, to sing, to, to do anything, to take care of self. Everyone start from nothing. We start from nothing. Remember, when I teach cooking class, I will put three, four boxes in, my, in the back of my car. Garlic, onion. Now I will not do cooking class with garlic. My car smells not good. But at that time, I have some class that, that teach the, with garlic. Garlic, onion, cooking oil, uh, rice, uh, flour, starch, vegetable meat with all these things. And, uh, and then at the end of the class, clean up everything pristine and they make $20 per hour, something like it. I forgot how much. And with the food, with the preparation, with everything, at the end of the day, not making much, but I get myself moving. And I am very grateful. I have a family who can support me, even if it is not making money, or sometimes it's actually losing money. Uh, I still can, can get to do the things. I remember when I was in Australia, we had no friends, not no friends, we do not know people, we moved there for just a few years and um, there <coughs> my children were young, seven years old, three years old, seven years old, five years old, they need daycare and uh, I went to Bankstown from uh, from uh, <coughs> Gordon to Bankstown. Anyway, it's a very f far away. So I drove all the way one hour driving to a very far place to teach. So from preparing myself until 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock coming back home and uh, I pay a lot of money for, for babysitting and what I make plus the gas. I am making a losing business, but uh, my husband really supported me and said, you need to just do the things. You need to get moving and doing, keep doing things. Otherwise, every day stay at home, you will be crazy. You will not be, you will not feel good. You are not a stay at home pe person. I think, I think people are, are different. Some people like to stay at home, contribute through, uh, through staying at home, taking care of the baby and taking care of the kids. I like to do this. I got the chance to take care of my children and in the evening I got the chance to go out. It's really very, very important and very, very good to get recognized, not only by the family, not only by <coughs> <coughs> not only uh, not only by the family but also uh, recognized by the society when i can make a paycheck a paycheck of a very few not so much but it's what i made out of my hand you know that feeling yeah it's different from um, from your family of course, we, we deserve, we contribute differently, but uh, that feeling, you are making your own a little bit something. So from there, I get started. There is noise. I hope you, you can bear with me. So I get started with teaching and, um, <coughs> and eventually get, I get my full-time job and uh, that's another story I will leave it for later on to talk about my career, looking for a job and finding a job story. But anyway, I feel teaching, uh, my son has, has, has told me that you are a teacher, you are by nature a teacher, you like to, 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 
to share and tell things. And sometimes I think maybe I have uh, something in myself that is good to be a teacher. First, I'm not smart. If you are smart, it is hard to understand student, right? You everything you you already understand. You do not need to work, and uh, you are ahead of students, and you just do not have uh, the, the, the do not have. Uh, the experience, the resource to have uh, compassion, to have uh, empathy, empa empathize with people who do not get it. And uh, this is one thing, I am not smart, and I am not good looking, I'm not intimidating, and, uh, <coughs> and uh, I am not strict, I am um, quite weak, and uh, students can be boss and they are happy. I think uh, when we have a lot of uh, people who is very strong, from time to time you have some of these mediocre people like myself, it actually make a right balance of the society. There are strong alpha teacher and there are not so alpha teacher like myself. So. Anyway, it makes a good balance. So this is why I, I, I started. So when internet get uh, started, I start to teach on, uh, on YouTube. And, uh, and uh, so get started. And uh, eventually, there are more and more opportunities coming. Uh, not really opportunity. This is my very first opportunity that gets sponsored by Skillshare. And uh, what I am thinking, if we use ourselves right, Skillshare eventually can start to pay. If I have uh, more students, then I will have uh, a more income by the minutes they watch my video. And every week I put one class. In a year time, I can put uh, 50, more than 50 classes. 365, six, uh, 365 divided by, by seven. So one year I can pay, put uh, 52 classes. Two years I can put uh, 104 classes. So eventually, there will be a lot of classes, there will be more interest, and you start to gain attraction. And uh, also there are different sources to, 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 to provide my life. And the other day I was talking, I want to go to a different place, and maybe sometimes go to a different place, to rent a home in another country, if uh, if the online classes start to come out income, maybe that is one of the source that I can go to different places, right? So that is my story about it, and uh, I really appreciate your 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 support and. Um, Yeah, let me just say it. I did a calculation. Each sign up through my link, through, uh, under the description you will find my link, my profile. Sign up to Skillshare. You can see all my classes. I have Chinese painting class, a calligraphy class, and um, right now 10 class around. If you sign up, one student sign up, I get $10. If you like me, support me, or also use it, uh, it's useful, then I can get $10. I have 100,000 subscribers. If I have every one of my subscri subscribers signing up, I can become a millionaire. So my dream is not very far, right? 
So I think just uh, keep on doing this. I can stand together with Beth Jesus, right? Or somebody else. And if every one of you talk to 10 friends, I can make 10 million. If, oh my gosh, if every one of you talk to a hundred people, I can make a hundred million. If every one of you talk to one thousand people, I become a billionaire. My future is not a dream. <laughs> it's not a dream. <laughs> anyway, okay, all the joking around and um, I'm just <laughs> I'm just feel amused by myself in such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Thank you very, very much. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do.